Welcome to Make Something With Me, David Petruto, and today I want to show you a new invention my buddy Andrew Klein came up with. Andrew comes up with brilliant ideas all the time, and now he's a consultant for MegSwitch, which I've used some of their products in the past over on the table saw. They've got some really cool, strong magnets, and Andrew came up with this idea for the drill press. I have not seen anything like this. I'm pretty sure this is a brand new invention. There are two tools in my shop that I complain the most about. The one is the router. Just because it's unsafe, it's gonna kill me, I hate it, I never feel comfortable at the router. I try to avoid it when I can. The other is the drill press, and I've made a couple videos on trying to improve the drill press. Not that it's unsafe, it's that it's not fun to use, it's messy, I've never liked the table system, I never liked the way they go up and down. So we made a whole video on a motorized table for a drill press, and but since then I've gotten rid of that drill press, I hated that thing, I had so many problems, I hated the depth stop on that. Uh, I hated that drill press. I just, I hated that drill press. And I thought, I'm going to get this drill press. This is the drill press of my dreams. I'm only gonna buy one more drill press in my life. This is it. Got a whole video on this guy. It has some crazy technologies. So much so that it's got two on and off switches. Actually three. You can turn it off here, you can turn it off here, and you can turn it off there. What drill press do you know has three off switches? Anyway, it does. Anyway, that was rude. That was just fucking rude. It does a lot of cool things. Uh, it's got the direct drive motor. There's a lot of reasons I got this drill press. In that video that I made on this particular drill press, I complain about the fence system. That fence system works in these rails here. Do I even have that fence system anymore? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Um, it, it was weird, it had some sort of cam lock system on, I complained about it in that video. On my previous drill press, I made a wooden base and then had a Rockler fence that ran in the T-Tracks. That fence works great. The problem with that setup with the wood table and the fence and the slots is I use my drill press for both metalworking and woodworking and that wood table, that plywood table doesn't play nice with the metalworking stuff. Oil gets on there. Uh, things get hot, it gets messy. I would rather just have the steel table on my drill press. This is where Andrew Klein's invention comes in. It, it's, it's amazing. Let me show you this. This is a solid piece of steel. It is machined so it has a perfect 90 degree bottom that just goes on here and the magnets have the on and off switch. That, that is my fence. Holy cow. The wobble on there is, it's not, the, the drill press isn't attached to the base. Don't worry about the wobble, okay? This fence is oversized. The little magnets, the on and off magnets, they can be repositioned anywhere on here to accommodate your size table. You probably want them out as far as possible to, for, for strength, probably. I don't understand science, um, I just believe in it. So this goes on there and then you lock this down. It doesn't matter if it's this way or this way, the drill bit is, is round. It just it's, doesn't matter. So that gets locked into place. That is super cool. That is not going anywhere. This, this right here is the stop. You just put it on there and then there's your on and off switch. That's, that's brilliant. That means I can put my stop anywhere. I can have the stop out of the way when I don't need it. It also has a 45 degree angle on here, as well as the, the fence has this cutout. And the reason for that is I can move this closer and it gets out of the way of whatever this thing is called. Dan, what is that called? The Chuck. Ah, oh, remember Chuck? Chuck was before Dan and before Eric. It, Chuck may be in jail right now, I'm not sure. He writes me letters, I don't even open them. But anyway, so that's angled to get out of the way of the Chuck and then you can get really close with your, with your shits. So the, another cool thing about this stop is, 
let's say I wanted to have a backing board so I don't get blowout. I can throw this down there. This can go right over top of that. I can lock that down and then I can drill my repeatable holes. Another thing is I can also lift this up a little bit and that way dust doesn't get trapped in there and throw off my, my measurements. So in the real world, I would have that like that. Knock it hard enough. Yes, you can move it, but you're not, you're not, you're not smacking that. It's strong. Believe me, it's plenty, plenty strong. Let's talk about the price. This right off, right off the bat, this is not made for the budget woodworker. When you develop new products, it costs a lot. This, the development of this costs a lot. This costs a lot to make. This is a high quality tool. This is the last drill press fence you will ever buy. It is unlike any other drill press fence out there. So you might look at the price and you might be like, dang, Pachuto, why, why are you trying to make me buy this thing that's so expensive? And I'm like, I like high quality tools. I like buying something that's gonna last me a lifetime. I like something that makes my life easier. This is one of those products. It, th they're not making millions of these. You can't, when you develop a new product and you only make so many, the price is gonna be what it is. I, I'm not apologizing. It is a high quality tool. I do have an affiliate code. Uh, I believe it is David Picciuto. It's It'll also be on the screen here. At the end of the checkout, enter that in, and then that lets Meg Switch and Andrew know that they, you guys came from me, and you bought this from me, and I get a little kickback. It's really, it's not about me making a bunch of money. It's about me working with Andrew and working with Meg Switch. They make some really cool tools. I wanna to work with them more in the future. You're gonna see this guy on my drill press. So, um, that, was a, that was a lot of talking. There was no action. It's time for some action. Let's show this motherfucker in action. Dan, you ready to for some action? Dan's Dan's ready for some action. All right. Let's drill some hose. holes. Holes. If you want to learn more about this particular drill press that I have, I've got a full video on that. If you want to learn about the motorized drill press table that we made a year ago, I got a whole video on that. Uh, if you want to learn about random woodworking, metalworking stuff, I've got videos on that as well. So uh, thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Meg Switch. Use the code David Petruto. Uh, that lets them know that it came from me. I get a little kickback. Also, uh, this is a pre-sale. This isn't shipping yet. I think it's shipping very soon, but this is a pre-sale. So that is going to wrap it up. We'll see you soon with another video. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate. And make. Also, if you don't want the super huge one, uh, they do make a smaller one. I think Matt Cremona made Andrew design a smaller one because that's what Matt Cremona does. Um, he's like the Walmart of woodworkers. He forces companies to just bend to his will. So there's a smaller version of this. All right, that wraps it up. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something. Matt Cremona, I do love you.